it's just been really hard on me. Many convicts claim they are innocent. I didn't kill this woman and don't even know her. We found four in Northeast Ohio who share connections beyond their fight to be free. I am not guilty of the crime. Their first connection is this man, former Chief Assistant Lorain County Prosecutor Jonathan Rosenbaum. He put all of them in prison. I don't think he done me right in my case. Their second connection, an organization whose only purpose is freeing innocent inmates, agreed to take all of their cases. Clarence Weaver can't forget November 15, 1991, the night he says he came home from work and found his wife Helen face down in their bathtub. I reached down and touched her and she was ice cold. Three years later, Rosenbaum prosecuted Clarence. He was convicted of strangling his wife. To me, they fabricated everything. Behind bars at Richland Correctional Institution, Al Cleveland told us he was framed. I don't really understand how I'm still here. He says Rosenbaum knew there were records showing he met with his probation officer in New York City the same day he was convicted of killing a woman in Ohio. He says Rosenbaum also knew about conflicting testimony from the key eyewitness 10 years after Al's conviction. That eyewitness signed an affidavit recanting every word. People have to know that the system doesn't work all the time. There's also Ray Smith Jr., convicted of killing a co-worker at an Elyria Friendly's in 1999. He maintains police lied about his confession and says no physical evidence, not even a hair, linked him to the crime. Finally, there's Nancy Smith. It's horrible. It's the worst feeling that you could ever have. <laughs> to think that people would think that of you. Ordered back to prison after being set free in 2009, the former Head Start bus driver was the center of a media firestorm in 1994 when she was convicted of sexually molesting young boys. Until you've been in my shoes, nobody can understand the pain that this has caused me and my family. Tom Cantu was the first detective assigned her case. He thinks media pressure got to the Lorain County Prosecutor's Office. My theory is they wanted somebody to pay for this. They needed somebody, and Nancy Smith was the one that was right there. Like more than 1,000 inmates each year, the four convicts eventually turned to the Innocence Project for help. Co-founded in 1992 by Barry Sheck, who became famous as one of O.J. Simpson's attorneys, its attorneys only take cases where they believe an inmate is innocent and they can prove it. And there's good evidence of innocence, otherwise they wouldn't be engaged in the process. For example, the Ohio Innocence Project takes just 2% of cases that come its way. So Sheck says it is rare that his organization represents four convicts from one Ohio county, especially one with a population just over 300,000 people. And Sheck says it could indicate a problem with prosecutorial misconduct. The pattern that the Ohio Innocence Project has found in these cases um, is troubling and it really has to be examined with great care. We found Jonathan Rosenbaum has been in trouble before. In 2005, a federal judge held that Rosenbaum made inappropriate comments during a child rape trial. We also found Rosenbaum currently has no disciplinary file on record and is in good standing with the Supreme Court of Ohio. The four convicts have other supporters, especially in Nancy Smith's case. She did nothing wrong. Absolutely zero. Cantu was a veteran sex crimes investigator when he was assigned the Head Start case. I feel at this time, and I've always felt this, an innocent person was sent to prison. Retired Judge Joe Zeba agreed. Absolutely couldn't have. And current Lorraine County Common Pleas Judge James Burge is the judge who set Smith free two years ago. Burge also took the unusual step of sending a letter to the Ohio Parole Board after reviewing Clarence Weaver's case. It said, I have no confidence that Clarence Weaver is guilty of murdering his wife. The four Lorraine County convicts share one final connection. The hope they will be freed. I got family. I got a wife. I got kids. And they will be proven innocent. The case is still open as far as I'm concerned because whoever killed her is still out there.